what we do within Elia's maths and how we get our children to learn with it is quite individual to our setting. Each activity that we have set out, we bring maths into it. One of the most important things for us as a setting is that we have a rich environment where the environment becomes their teacher in the sense where there's always something out for the children, they can actually learn from it and it's not very much that they're dependent on the adult to teach them or to help them with their learning. We've got resources out and the children can play with them the way they want to play with them. We all feel that if children are happy, they will learn. So our first and foremost duty is to make sure they're coming in, we've got smiley faces, we've got the right activities and when we do we do home visits. So when we do our home visits we check with parents what are these children's interests. The ethos is really being happy and learning through fun because when you're that young that's the only way you're going to learn is through having fun, laughing and hands-on experience. The reason why we feel maths is so important is because that's one of the fundamental areas of learning and it goes on to affect the children's learning as they go into school. For us it's very important because we have seen through our data that our children have not always scored very well in this area so they've come in below age related expectations so within both settings we do try to focus on maths and learning maths but mainly through play. Children learn very much on the go. We've had to train an activity set up today and that was amazing the amount of mathematical concepts that we got out of it and the language that the children were using. It was bringing out the real life situations and bringing maths into that. It's really about repeating activities, trial and error, getting the children to have a go, and it's fine if it's not right the first time. The more trial and error there is in an activity, the more their knowledge of mathematical concepts is increased, and it's really embedded within their mindsets as well. These children are individuals. They all have a different way of learning, and we have a different way of teaching. The way I teach and the way my colleagues teach are completely different. So for that reason, it's good that it's hands-on, and it's all practical, it's all active learning. We try and make sure it's all through lots of games, fun and activities because that's how they learn maths and language and everything, but maths more so, I feel. With active learning, we are aware that it's got to be very much hands-on and the children have got to be active with it. So one of the things that we've done at both settings is look at activities because our children really like playing in the outdoors We've looked at the outdoors as well and how we can incorporate active learning and other areas of learning through outdoor play. When the children are playing with the channels and the water channels and the pouring water, so that's very much active learning through that as well. Having their own ideas um, is very important for their development. We always take on board what their ideas are. So, for example, when we had the owl babies out, we were talking about where do you think mummy owl went? So the conversation is always very broad. Like some will say she's gone on holiday, some will say she's gone on a plane. So it kind of gives them that reason for conversation. So there will always be pointers of conversation. There will always be their ideas and their thoughts that are taken on board.